Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be reacting to Who is a Seeker? Who is a Guru? How can I find a Guru? And I can't remember this person's name. <laughs> the Electricity Guru, I believe he was called. So, and I know his name starts with a C. It's just I'm, I'm terrible with names and I haven't reacted to too many of this guy. But I do believe everyone has to be a Seeker. Who isn't a Seeker is probably ignorant. Uh, that's my assumption. The reason why I say that is because no matter how much you know in life, there's always more to know. And the second that you stop seeking is the second that basically um, life in a sense kind of ends. But who's a guru? You can... No, that's a good question, I suppose. I don't know how to identify what a guru is. I guess someone who's enlightened is a pretty good one to put. Um, and how can I find a guru? Well... And that is also a question I was asked a few times. They say that you don't look for a guru, a guru will look for you. Which is kind of symbolic in my idea. I mean, it can be that way though, I will, I will say for sure. But it's a matter whether you, it's really it is, it's a matter whether the guru and you yourself accept each other as a seeker and a guru or a student and a teacher. Anyway, so it's going to get started. CC is on. Yes. <clears throat> Who is a seeker of truth? Burning aspiration to realize highest. Your imagination. You don't want to live in this even for a moment. As impatient as you would be when your clothes catch fire. At that time, what do you want? Nothing. Do you, are you a democrat at that time? <laughs> Will you call your wife and elder sons and then ask them, what is your opinion? What should I do for you? No opinion is asked. Nothing is asked. You run where the water is. And if it is in a well, you jump into it. Forgetting that there is no water in it. Oh! <laughs> Why? You have only, only one, es I mean, escape from it. In the same way, when you come to know that to live in the body, mind and intellect level is an agonizing pain. And I don't want even for a moment, I want that state of peace and tranquility, the higher state of consciousness. This impatient urge to reach that is called. Ah. Guru alone can guide, but who is a guru? Uh, I, I must have missed that first part. Let's watch that last part a little bit again. Why? You have only, only one. Es I mean, escape from it. In the same way, when you come to know that to live in the body, mind and intellect level is an agonizing pain and I don't want even for a moment I want that state of peace and tranquility or the higher state of consciousness this impatient urge to reach that is called Momo ah. Guru alone can guide ah. but who is a guru? And the Guru, therefore, is not a physical entity. If you are considering the Guru as a physical entity, you will have to cry when the physical entity Guru gone. Guru gone! Guru gone. Don't consider him as an entity. He is not an individual. He is a presence. He is the Lord Himself who is speaking to us for our benefit, guiding us, pulling us towards Him. So this great Atman, the Self, whom I see that Self as my Guru, my Guru is nothing other than that Brahman. To that Guru, I trust. Where do I find that Guru? Who me to know? There is no question of you running after a Guru. 
the guru comes to us never can a disciple go to the guru it's all drama and then went to the himalayas and there i saw the guru sitting under a tree prostrated guru said are sit down and he said if i must have you must have found that this disciple is very convenient for bringing the bhikshar for me <laughs> guru always comes to you <coughs> is something like the bees coming to the flower the flower did not go in search of the bees without the bees their life is not fulfilled mm. in order to pollinate the flower the bees are necessary but the flower need not to worry about you know no no bee has come no, why should i open i won't open until bee comes he comes and stands there then i will open up oh flower you stay there dance to the breeze and open up and in the warmth of the sun dance there but then there are no bees bees will come how are you so sure it is a universal law no flower has ever been opened up and the Uh, didn't get a chance to get pollinated every flower will get the chance supposing there is a single flower in the mountain and alone there and nobody there how will the bee go there naturally <laughs> if the bees or local bees cannot go there narayana will have to get up and say lakshmi i am coming half an hour wish <laughs> as a bee he has to come pollinate and go back and then when you go back she will be very angry where did you go where did you go how did you go i went to be i want to be you were being here to be you were a being no 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 i went there to be until at last she and that is the thing how will the guru find me I will say I'm still quite lost. <clears throat> I, I get the, the first part. Um, who is a seeker? I guess it's just pre pretty blunt. It seems like the fire. Obviously, you're gonna. If there's a fire, if you're on fire, you're gonna be seeking out water. So I guess people who seek out an answer to a problem is a seeker, because the problem was the pants was on fire. So he seeks water, which is the solution to the fire. Who is a guru? Hmm. And how can I find a guru now? How will the guru find me? So how will how can I find a guru? But the bees and the flowers. <clears throat> well, I don't know if that's working today because there's a lot of people out there who needs gurus. I'm sure. <laughs> now, how will the guru find me? See, so that the flowers' job is to open up. Oh flower, you know not anything. What happens if you open up? You know only that you are a bud. When you open up, the color scheme attracts, and the fragrance out of you, which as a bud you have no fragrance. When you open up, fragrance comes. The fragrance will be carried by the breeze, and the bees are so made that when they get the fragrance. they become crazy mad and they start flying towards it and when they see the color scheme they land there and then but as long as you are a bud no bee will care to look at you it will run round and go to other flowers and you leave it on them so first you open up yourself stay where you are where the lord has kept you as a son of your father as a father of your children never mind stay where you are open up open up purify your mind the right to time the guru comes to you as the bee comes to you, the flower so they in case a guru takes you in his hands or takes him under his wings to protect you guide you lead you 
there is a greatest to Okay, well that ended abruptly. Uh, abruptly, this is. Hmm. I don't know. That's that's a little bit difficult now. I'm pretty sure. I think you 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 definitely have to be a seeker of the gurus because it's the world is pretty big. Even though we made the world smaller by technology in terms of how we travel and communicate, I guess the flower buds that are buds that are opening up now are rotten. <laughs> The smell is pu it's, it's nasty. <laughs> Flower opens, nasty. Just flies come to it now <laughs> instead of bees. I don't know. Oh man, I'm I'm a bit lost. I think I think everyone's. I, it's kind of weird. An explanation for the seeker I get when I mean, there's a problem you seek. You're seeking a solution. It's a bit blunt, I suppose. But I think we're all seekers. That's pretty. I think that's you know it's understandable. Who is a guru? Somehow I missed that one. I don't know how did I miss that one. Guru alone is guide, but who is is a guru? How can I find a guru? Oops. And the guru therefore is not a physical entity. If you are considering the guru as a physical entity, you will have to cry. When the physical end is Guru God, Guru God, Guru God. Don't consider him as an entity. He is not an individual. He is a presence. He is the Lord himself who is speaking to us for our benefit, guiding us, pulling us towards him. So this great Atman, the Self, whom I see that Self as my Guru. My Guru is nothing other than that Brahman. To that Guru, I prostrate. Where do I find... As whom I see that Self as my Guru. So this great Atman, the Self, who I see must that Self as the Guru. My Guru is nothing other than that. Brahman. To that Guru I prospered. I'm not sure what he's getting at here. Is he talking about himself? Now, it's kind of weird when it says... I don't know if there's a separation between Guru and Atman, but Atman and Brahman is all of us. I guess depending, I don't know, uh, he is an Ananda, so he uh, he believes in non-duality, Advaita Vedanta. Um, so then I guess himself is the Guru? I'm a bit lost in this one, the audio wasn't that great. The captioning seems to follow the audio quite well, but I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little lost. I understand some some of what he says, we're all seekers, I do believe in that, but he made it seem like we're seekers when we have problems. Example, the pants on fire. Who is the guru? Is he saying myself is the guru? Or, because he's saying don't look at a, the guru as an individual. Like maybe a physical form of a person, but the guru within yourself, maybe. How can you find a guru? That He explained that the guru can find you like a bee to a flower. Although, I think in this world now, that has to be changed where the guru has to open up and send out the scents and then we the bees have to find out which guru works best with us which path we want to follow and that basically would translate to the bees finding the sweetest nectar nectar for themselves not for themselves but for you know the hive or whatever you know fly to that particular flower while other other bees may fly to a different flower i don't know because i mean the world is just you know, at least in our parts, it's just yeah. We need we need some definitely some guidance for in the in their engineering for sure. Um, and then how can I find a guru? Again, he talks about how the guru will find you basically. And then the last part is how will the guru find me? You have to open up. Okay. 
So I, I think that has to be rever in my my opinion in a way is that that has to be reversed because I have a feeling all the buds that are opening up are rotten now, <laughs> and no bees are coming to these flowers. So um, I think that the, the, that metaphor may have to be reversed in my opinion because I think people really need to go seek out I don't not necessarily any particular guru just someone that can especially people who are suffering in a sense not suffering in terms of like financially or anything i don't i don't know if i mean a guru could potentially help you out with that but just people who are well i guess suffering really is the word for it which is could be financially suffering and and suffering one's own emotions or struggles in life so now i, th I think the times has changed and that analogy probably has to change too i wonder if i wonder what he would think of the world today <laughs> like my B explanation, uh, it, it flopped now. <laughs> the gurus are the flowers, and you kind of have to come to us. But you don't just go to any flower; you have to find the perfect flower, the perfect flower for you. So just because a flower is open up, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the flower that you want to go to, because there could be another flower that's sweeter, sweeter out there. Anyways, that's my reaction to who is who is a seeker, who is a guru. How can I find a guru? Can't remember the Swami's name. It's I, I do believe they call him the Swami of Electricity or the Guru of Electricity because I remember that story they told about it. It was amazing. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.